Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see about the bacteria Bacillus anthracis. Now first, general characteristics of Bacillus anthracis. Bacillus anthracis is a gram-positive rod-shaped bacilli and it is arranged in the form of chains and non-motile in nature. The size of the Bacillus anthracis is ranging from 1 to 5 micrometer and it belongs to the family Bacillaceae. Uh, capsules are present in the Bacillus anthracis and the capsules are polypeptide capsules and it is made up of polydiglutamic acid. And the capsules are observed only in the medium containing 0.7% bicarbonate or 5% serum. And regarding the endospores, endospores are present in the Bacillus anthracis and the arrangement of the endospores is central arrangement. The mode of respiration is aerobic or facultative anaerobic mode of respiration and the optimum temperature is 37 degrees Celsius and Bacillus anthracis are unable to grow above 40 degree, 43 degrees Celsius. And the optimum pH of the Bacillus anthracis is 5 to 8 and regarding the habitat, the spores of Bacillus anthracis are ubiquitous in nature and present in soil of grazing area. Uh, the greatest danger of the anthrax in industrial countries the use of bacillus anthracis as an agent of bioterrorism and the bacillus anthracis was discovered by robert koch in 1850 the vaccine for anthrax was developed by louis pasteur in 1870 disease transmission of bacillus anthracis bacillus anthracis is commonly found in soil in low amounts it affects livestock and can be transmitted to humans through improper handling of an infected animals or by eating undercooked meat from the animal. It is rare for human to human infection. Uh, virulence factors of Bacillus anthracis. Uh, the term virulence represents the ability of the microorganisms to cause the disease. And the term virulence was first coined by Louis Pasteur. And the virulence factors are the factors which are responsible for causing infection in human beings. And the Bacillus anthracis produce uh, two virulence factors for causing anthrax infection in human beings. The first virulence factor is plasmids and the second virulence factor is exotoxins. Uh, Bacillus anthracis contain uh, two toxic plasmids. One is PH01 and the second one is PH02. Uh, PH01 which produces the protective antigen or cell binding protein, the edema factor or enzyme component and the lethal factor or enzyme component. And the second plasmid PH02 uh, which encodes the production of the capsule. And the second virulence factor is exotoxins. Uh, virulence strains of Bacillus anthracis produce uh, three exotoxins that combines to form Edematoxin and lethal toxin. Edematoxin is the combination of protective antigen and edema factor, and the lethal toxin is the protective antigen with lethal factor. The incubation period of Bacillus anthracis is 1 to 7 days, and the infective dose required to cause the anthrax infection is 8,000 to 10,000 spores. Pathogenesis of Bacillus anthracis. Bacillus anthracis is not a major threat to humans and natural cases are rare even when spores are present. The major factors responsible for the virulence of the Bacillus anthracis are the capsule, edema toxin and lethal toxin. The capsule inhibits the phagocytosis and the adenylate cyclase activity that is the conversion of ATP to CAMP of edema toxin is responsible for the fluid accumulation observed in the anthrax. And next, uh, the zinc metalloprotease activity of the lethal toxin stimulates the macrophages to release tumor necrosis factor alpha, interleukin 1 beta and other pro-inflammatory cytokines. This toxin also mediates lysis of macrophages in selected cell culture and finally, uh, both lethal factor and edema factor inhibit the host innate immune system and results in the anthrax infection and next clinical diseases of bacillus anthracis 
bacillus anthracis results in three clinical diseases the first clinical disease is cutaneous anthrax the second clinical disease is gastrointestinal anthrax and the third clinical disease is inhalation anthrax the first clinical disease caused by the bacillus anthrax is cutaneous anthrax uh, cutaneous anthrax is the most common form of anthrax infection and it is also considered to be the least dangerous when anthrax spores get into the skin usually through a cut or scrape a person can develop cutaneous anthrax and this can happens when a person handles infected animals or contaminated animal products like wool hides or hats uh, cutaneous anthrax is most commonly on the head neck forearms and hands and the cutaneous anthrax affects the skin and tissues around the site of infection and typically the cutaneous anthrax start with the development of a painless papule or skin lesion at the site of inoculation that rapidly progress to the ulcer surrounded by the vesicles then to the necrotic scar necrotic scar means a black wound uh, because the wound is covered with uh, thick dry black necrotic tissue uh, systemic signs uh, painful lymphadenopathy and massive edema may develop and the mortality rate in patient with untreated cutaneous anthrax is 20 percentage the second clinical disease caused by the bacillus anthrax is gastrointestinal anthrax when a person eats raw or undercooked meat from an animal infected with anthrax they can develop gastrointestinal anthrax uh, once ingested anthrax spores can affect the upper gastrointestinal tract like uh, throat and esophagus stomach and intestines and the ulcer form at the site of invasion in the regions like mouth esophagus and intestine and leading to regional lymphadenopathy edema and sepsis if the organism invades the cecum or terminal ileum the patient presents with uh, nausea vomiting and malaise uh, which rapidly progress to systemic disease uh, without treatment more than half of the patient with gastrointestinal anthrax die however with proper treatment 60% of patient can survive the third and final clinical disease caused by the bacillus anthrax is inhalation anthrax when a person breathes in anthrax spores they can develop inhalation anthrax uh, people who work in places such as wool mills slaughter houses and tanneries may breathe in the spores when working with the infected animals or contaminated animal products from the infected animals the inhalation anthrax start primarily in the lymph nodes in the chest before spreading throughout the rest of the body ultimately causing severe breathing problem and shock the initial clinical symptom of the disease are non septic or non specific and it in includes uh, fever myalgia non productive cough and malaise the second stage of the disease is more dramatic with a rapidly worsening course of uh, fever edema uh, massive enlargement of the lymph nodes this is responsible for the respiratory failure and sepsis the meningeal symptoms are seen in half of the patient with inhalation anthrax and the inhalation anthrax is considered to be the most deadly form of anthrax uh, without treatment only about 10 to 15 percentage of patient with inhalation anthrax survive however with aggressive treatment above uh, 55 percentage of patients can survive laboratory diagnosis of bacillus anthrax the first diagnostic method is microscopic examination under gram staining the bacillus anthrax was appeared as violet colored gram positive large rods in motility test it shows non motile result and in endospore staining uh, the bacillus anthrax shows green colored endospores with central arrangement and red colored vegetative cells uh, this image shows the gram staining of bacillus anthrax and this image shows the endospore staining of bacillus anthrax 
colony morphology of bacillus anthracis in nutrient agar bacillus anthracis colonies are irregular raised dull opaque and grayish white with frosted glass or ground glass appearance occasionally the colonies may have fringed edges or put out curled protrusions or tailings this is also called as medusa head appearance and this is the medusa head appearance in blood agar bacillus anthracis colonies are white or gray white and non hemolytic 2 to 4 mm in diameter again with a slightly moist or matte appearance in mckonkey agar bacillus anthracis produce white colored non lactose fermenting colonies in the selective bicombinate agar the colonies of fully virulent isolates of bacillus anthracis are mucoid in nature on this medium when incubated overnight under co2 due to the capsule formation and finally uh, the major selective medium for bacillus anthracis is plet medium the full form of the plet medium is polymyxin lysozyme edta tolovus acetate medium and the selective medium uh, used for the isolation of uh, bacillus anthracis from the contaminated specimen is plet medium the plet agar inhibits most contaminating organisms and spore formers and the colonies of bacillus anthracis are circular creamy white to gray white colonies with a ground glass texture a biochemical test for bacillus anthracis identification catalyst test positive oxidase test negative urease test negative indole test positive methyl red test or mr test negative vogus prescott test or vp test positive citrate utilization test negative starch hydrolysis negative casein hydrolysis test positive gelatin hydrolysis test positive nitrate reduction positive arginine dehydrolase positive escoline hydrolysis positive and finally lysis by gamma phages positive finally uh, treatment and prevention inhalation or gastrointestinal anthrax should be treated with ciprofloxacin or deoxycycline combined with one or two additional antibiotics like rifampin vancomycin penicillin imipenem clindamycin and clarithromycin naturally acquired cutaneous anthrax can be treated with amoxicillin and vaccination of animal herds and people in endemic areas can control disease but spores are difficult to eliminate from the contaminated soil animal vaccination is effective but human vaccines have limited usefulness dear viewers that's all about the bacillus anthracis thank you for your support thank you